All right, guys, I will spare, uh, I will spare no expenses, so to speak, to uh, deliver uh, the basics and the foundation in this first video of uh, classical execution. And all other videos are going to be slightly shorter because once you understand the principles and the power sources, all we're going to do is just add additional grips or some footwork or whatever, but uh, uh, the throwaway itself is going to be identical no matter what you do. Okay? So standard grip for Sasai Furikomiashi I mean, last thing is also the first foot front uh, is the sleeve, right? And uh, a lapel on the opposite side, just like this. Okay, guys? So, uh, what we'll do, we'll step deep in a body. And some people step in between the partner's legs, and other people step to the outside. And it does not matter. It could be either, right? Depending on your preference. So, the idea is that Sai Trigonashi employs uh, this big torquing movement. Okay, guys? So if I'm flat, I can spin very with a certain force, but anytime I step on the button, right, I can spin way stronger, just like that. Alright? So, but, uh, uh, real fast. As I'm stepping in, I'm applying pulling action, so called the sushi on this sleeve, and you see how this weight transfers in that corner on those toes. With my right hand, what I do, I have like what I call uppercut like action, right? I'll go like this. And of course, my hand, my wrist rather, is not bent like this, like a waiter's wrist. I wrap the key, and when I punch it up, my fist either, either straight, or my wrist rather, right? Or slightly curved in, like I'm looking at the counter. So, this is our setup action, okay guys? So, pull here, jack up here, and step with opposite leg. We'll get daddy on that foot, all right? And the next thing, if I keep pulling, here's we'll kind of hop and recover. And he recovers his balance with this leg over here. And what we do basically, we stop him and we deprive him of that step. What we do, guys, we uh, if he was to wear shoes, the sole of my shoe or sole of my foot, the bottom of my foot, will clip him just like this. Okay? So we're not doing the ashi so we're not swimming like this, we're not sweeping it from the outside, alright? We're blocking the, uh, the, the fourth corner, so to speak. Just like this. Okay? And finally, uh, my position, my body outward, combined body position, uh, I call it Y, just like letter Y. Because my uh, our hips are together and my body is separated. You see, we we'll look like letter Y. And lastly, when you finish this throw, loop behind your shoulder. Your head goes by the powers. It is a little uh, mechanical cool to remember to aid your pull and your posture with your head position. Okay, guys? So it would look like this. Okay, note how I went fishing. I pulled it up to take the stain off and I maintained connected. I did not cut him loose in case I want to finish on board. So, once again, no problem. Right here. Okay. And let's go. Okay, guys, and that's your classic standard execution of Sasai. One more thing, last thing, guys. When I'm reaching out, I try to point my toes like I'm showing off my pedicure to the guy over there, right? Just like this. I'm making my foot as long as possible without catching with the bottom. However, the throw is indeed not indigenous to judo only or jiu jitsu. It exists in a variety of other wrestling styles freestyle, sambo, Mongolian. Uh, and uh, in some of those uh, styles, people wear shoes, so pointing toes becomes irrelevant. So when you get somebody with your foot uh, here, you can point or not point if you wear shoes. But this is a little detail. 